Hey from Fuller to Fullest fam, we are back for another craft cast. And yes, I do realize I'm doing more of these than garden cast. But the garden is just out of hand crazy right now. And there's really not a whole lot to show you because I just really planted the fall garden. So I'll give you an update on that um, in the next couple weeks. Anyway, as far as opening up, I'm Morgan Fuller. If this is your first time being here, we're so happy you're here with us. And if this is you returning, thanks for coming back and hanging with me today. So, as always, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. This is an ID Life tank. Uh, ID Life is the health and wellness company that I am an ambassador for. <clears throat> um, it is customized vitamin nutrition for you. Uh, there is weight management, pre and post workout, shakes, just overall trying to do life better together. So this is one of the tanks they had uh, available uh, for members and associates this month, uh, not this month, this summer. So I did get this and I got a visor and a can koozie because why not? Where are the colors of your company, right? So that's what I'm wearing today. I do have my hair down for you all because I haven't been outside and it hasn't grown uh, massively to look like a Chia Pet in the humidity of Southwest Arkansas where I live. Um, I, it's hot, so you won't see me wearing knitting until it starts cooling off. But I have some finished objects for you today. I have some works in progress for you today and I even have some acquisitions today. If you want to find me anywhere on social media, I am Mogo Fuller on Instagram and on Adventures with Yarn. I am also Mogo Fuller. That is a, a knitting, crochet, yarn crafting community I am a part of, and I love it over there. Um, I don't have a group set up on Facebook. I may do that at some point. I haven't decided yet, but you can find me on Instagram as Mogo. Mogo Fuller and over on Adventures with Yarn. So uh, I am setting up a Ribbler right now. They are in the beta testing phase. So um, when that becomes available to the public, I'll be sure and try to let you know uh, about that. So let's jump right into, oh, I've got my water in my Tiffany's Creative Customs cup as per usual. I do love Tiffany's products. She's fantastic. She does um, keychains now and several other things, but I just love the tumblers. So there you go. Uh, let's jump right into finished objects. So the most anticipated, let me go ahead and show you this one. The star blanket is done. This monster, let me tell you guys, I didn't even do the last two sections and it covers me from neck to feet. But I love it. This blue herring yarn did bleed a little bit when I washed it and blocked it, but it's not too terribly bad. It's really more noticeable in person than it is on camera, but it is massive and it is finished and so cozy and I love it. So, Star Flanket is finished. I think I have decided that I'm going to use this pattern for baby blankets from here on out and just do the star and a garter outside and the eye cord bind off. Um, just because it doesn't need to be this massive for babies, but it's so adorable and it's so different. So Stephen West really is a yarn magician and I love him for it. This is the Stephen West star blanket pattern and I love it so much <laughs> finished and then this is probably my smallest finished object and I mean I guess you can say it's a finished object because I only do them one at a time but eventually they'll all go into a bigger project but I finished a little hexapuff this one is what was left of uh, my skein of Flamingo Legs by Stranded Dye Works. 
Amy over at the Stranded Podcast. This is what was left of the sock tube after making socks. So I put it in one of these so I can add it to that blanket. I'm, I don't know if I told you guys at any point. I think I've only featured it on the podcast a couple times. But the Hex Puff blanket, um, it's actually called the Beekeeper's Quilt is the name of the pattern. And it is by Tiny Owl Knits. I think. Hold on, I'll check. I've got the pattern right here. I've got an actual physical copy of the pattern. Uh, yes, Tiny Owl Knits. There's her little logo, and I'm trying not to give away any of the good stuff, but that's it. And I will eventually have one myself. I've decided to use it kind of like the Cozy Memories blanket where they do the mitered squares, but I want it to be different and weird because I am. If I play with my hair a lot, it's because I'm not used to it being down, you guys, and I'm trying not to put it up and it's hot on my neck. So, disclaimer and pre-apology now. Anyway, gonna use this as like my Cozy Memories. So, all of my sock weight, anything that I make, I want to um, put into little hex puffs and add to that and make a memory blanket. Now, for the majority of what I've actually worked on, because I really have not had a whole lot of brain space this week, this last couple weeks, so dishcloths. And I really haven't even had the brain space, this strap, y'all, to my undershirt. It's on my nerves. Anyway, <clears throat> I haven't had the brain space to even worry with weaving in most of the ends for these. I did weave in the ends on this one. But these are what I call aunties, dish claws. My great aunt taught me how to make these dish claws. And these are common. I think the uh, you can find the pattern somewhere as grandma's favorite dish cloth. It's a pretty common standard hand-me-down pattern. Everybody knows these. I do do the option with the holes for the yarn over holes because I just like that look better. So I have this bright, beautiful yellow one, which is uh, Cascade Yarns in the Pima Tinsel. Uh, what's the name of this colorway? It doesn't have a colorway. It's just color 9365, but it's the Cascade Yarns, Pima Tinsel. <clears throat> I'm trying to go through my, my cotton stash because the only thing I use it for is baby blankets and uh, dishcloths. So, and then I have two of these. This is the it's the one you get at Walmart. Peaches and cream. That's it. Peaches and cream. Cotton. So two in that black. This is the Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. I don't know the name of this colorway. It was deep stash. There was a ball of it left from when I did um, a baby blanket in this. And then this one, I don't even know. I think this was another cascade of some kind but um, there is some blue scrubby right here on the end because I ran out just as I was getting ready to bind off. I was like, really? Really? Anyway, so I finished one, two, three, four, five dish claws and almost finished six. So, oh, hey, we're in whips. Um, so I finished five of these dish cloths and then I have this one going. Um, because I really, up until like yesterday, I didn't really want to have to think about what I was working on. So, got a dish cloth on the go. I did promise you guys that I was going to try to commit to a scrappy Sunday and get those scrappy projects done. So I made progress. This is living in the Mickey Mouse bag that me and my aunt made. 
but I made progress on this scrappy blanket. Like real progress, like visible progress. Let me find the progress keeper, I'll show you. Because this thing is, I mean, this is massive. Because I decided I wanted to go ahead and do the length instead of the width. Because I feel like I get further along, but then it takes forever. But anyway, so as you saw last time, I was right here in this blue. And I have done several rows. This is probably a good two, three hours worth of work because these are such long rows. Of course. And this is all of my acrylic and novelty type yarns. I don't think there's any wool whatsoever in this. This here is um, chenille. So it's, it's, I mean, it was an expensive yarn. <laughs> But, um, this is all of my synthetic fibers, I guess I should say, um, that I've used and had leftovers for. So, I've been working on that on Scrappy Sunday. Scrappy Sunday, I found out about from watching Kay, the crazy sock lady. Uh, she has her specifically set aside Scrappy Sunday um, podcast. So I sit down on Sundays with Kay and work on my scrappy projects. Uh, next up, living in my Disney snacks bag. Look, this bag's so cute. I tell you guys every time, but it's so cute. I need this fabric and a small one to take when we go to Disney again. But I, I have started officially on Christmas gifts. I say gifts because I finished a gift and now I'm working on other ones. So I'm like really full into Christmas knitting, um, which is good because it's September, but I have started this. It is a marled sock because I am using this colorway, if I can get it, that's pretty close to true to color. This is Flirty Bikini by Stunning String and Little Black Dress by Stunning String. Also, this is their mohair base, Kid Silk Mohair. And I'm making some fuzzy house socks for my niece, Emily. She does already know, so I'm not worried about if she happens to catch this and see it because I sent it to her and made sure that the pink and black was okay because she had mentioned when I was doing the bind off on that star blanket uh, that she really liked that pink and I said well if you're a good girl I'm pretty sure I have enough to do a pair of socks so I sent it to her to make sure that if she wanted the fuzzy black added to it or just the pink and she wanted the pink and black so I've started her socks and this sock tube hasn't moved so I it hasn't moved. So, there's that sock. And, let's see what else. I have all the cast-ons, you guys. I think I have four cast-ons that you guys have not seen. I have a problem. It is what it is. All right, so, moving on. In my popcorn bag is crystal sweater this sweater y'all normally sleeves aren't really a problem but I think I'm just tired of looking at it <laughs> uh, I don't know I just brain space you guys brain space but I was right here when you saw it last. So I've done a few inches of work on it. Um, these are on tiny needles. So my hands started to hurt using little stuff. So I moved on to bigger projects. These are on, what are these on? I guess these aren't really on tiny needles. It's a US size five. So I mean, it's not tiny, tiny, but anyway, working on the sleeve cranking right along on it 
end. So here's another one you guys haven't seen, unless you follow me on Instagram. Um, my oldest girl, she has outgrown her winter beanie, and she decided that she wanted, a while back when I got those palms, she laid claim to the rainbow palm I got. So then I was like, I don't have any yarn to go with that rainbow palm. I'm gonna have to buy something. But digging through my stash to find all my cotton, I found Whistling Unicorns, uh, which was a colorway by my friend Amy at What's Up Yarn Co. Um, again, I'm not sure if she's still dying, but I'm so excited um, to finally be using it. So I have started her just a basic, uh, slouchy beanie in seed stitch and I'll put the palm on that because it's going to match perfectly. This this is not doing this colorway justice but it's absolutely beautiful and um, my oldest girl is going to love it. So this is in progress. I've sat it down this week because seed stitch isn't hard but it takes a little bit of brain space until you get into the rhythm of the pro of the pattern and then you gotta switch it up going the other way when you hit the end of round and it just wasn't in the place to feel like doing that so I did put some work on it just a little bit um so more than y'all have seen because I started it after talking with you guys last and my most favorite cast on that I started when I finally had some brain space to do something other than dishcloth and knitting in the round on a sleeve Meg over at Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits Bad Wolf Girl Designs released her Astraeus and Moonbeam sweaters they are adorable let me see if I can find you the front picture. I can't. It's right here. The front picture of Moonbeam. Is that not the most adorable little sweater? So, Astraeus is the adult version. Moonbeam is the child sizes. So, I've decided for the first time ever, and I know it's a lofty goal, that me and my girls will have matching winter sweaters. So, I started the moonbeam for my oldest girl. Her favorite color is purple. So, isn't it lovely? I wish I could stretch this out and not lose stitches where you can see just how beautiful this is working up. But I mean, it's beautiful. So I'm knitting this in Red Heart Comfort, which will soften up tremendously once it's washed and blocked. And then the silver is Joy DK in Cloud. Um, technically, the Red Heart Comfort is a worsted weight, but I'm such a tight knitter that I can I can get gauge for a DK weight sweater with it. So. I have to very consciously mind my DK weight yarn that I don't pull it so tight that it knits as a thick fingering. Moonbeam is so pretty. I love it. So this one has some sparkle in the main body and then it's matte um, in the color work. This is my first ever colorwork sweater, but Meg has made it super easy, and I'm so excited <laughs> for us to have matching sweaters. So, my oldest girl's is going to be this purple and the silver. My youngest girl, I got this is, we're jumping right into acquisitions, by the way, and future knitting, because um, it just carries right along. I'm going to show you what I got for myself and my youngest girl. Um, to make our Moonbeam and Astraeus sweaters. My, my youngest girl, also Red Heart Comfort. What's the name of this colorway? It doesn't give me a colorway name, but it's this pink. Isn't that beautiful? And this uh, was on sale on Yarnspirations.com for 10 bucks, And it is 
867 yards, which is more than enough for my almost two year old. So this color with the Karen Simply Soft Party in Snow Sparkle. I don't know if you can see the sparkles in that yarn. So mine and the little one will have sparkles in our color work and matte main body. My oldest will have a sparkle body and matte color work. So this will be for my little ones, Moonbeam. And then I got this Red Heart Comfort also in this beautiful royal blue. It's coming out a little lighter than what it actually is. I got two of these. Pause for a drink break. So, and I'll also be using the white sparkle. Unless I have enough of the cloud left. And then maybe, let's see. What do you guys think? Y'all vote. Tell me which one you think will look best with that blue. Anyway, so, Astraeus and Moonbeam sweaters for this winter. And I will have somebody take pictures of us all in them, so. But that's not all my acquisitions. Like I said, I haven't had a whole lot of brain space. It's been a really rough week, not in a good place, doing much better now. <laughs> but, growing up, I had a bad habit of shop therapy. And I made the mistake of going to the craft store while I was not in a very good place. I try not to do that. I try to be conscious and be like, okay, your, your, your mental health is not where it should be. So let's not go shopping. Let's not go anywhere where you might spend more money than you should. Didn't work out this time. So on top of buying all of that for those sweaters, which I had already planned, that was planned and put in place before I even bought it. So that was not shop therapy. This next bit definitely was. But at least it was on sale. So I got four skeins of Loops and Threads Wool Like. And this colorway is charcoal. It is a fingering weight. Um, my plan is to make a flax light and add my own color work detail to it with these two colors. And I know you guys are going to be so surprised when you see this color because it's not like I don't have everything with these colors. But this is golden yellow and what's the name of this? And mauve which is a lot more burgundy than it's coming out on screen. But I mean, you're so surprised, right? That I'm doing color work with these once again. <laughs> I mean, between my Wonder Woman wrap and my house pride cowl, you're not surprised anymore that those are my colors, right? You're just not. And also this one, which is purple. Again, because my eldest daughter, her favorite color is purple. This is looking a lot more blue on camera than it actually is, but it is a purple. It's a really pretty purple too, uh, for my oldest. Um, so I did get the Joy DK cloud um, at, on that trip too, because I had originally bought all of this um, Simply Soft Party Karen for the color work for all three sweaters, but I found that and I'm just like, that's gonna be perfect with that purple. I need to get it, so I got two balls of it. I'm probably only gonna use one uh, for RJ sweater, so. Anyway, <laughs> that is what I bought at Michael's. Spent more money than I should have, but at least it was money that was on sale. Um. I am in a better place this this weekend, so um, I spent a lot of time in prayer, a lot of time in the Word, extra time in the Word, uh, because let me just tell you, warfare happens. 
warfare happens when you're about to break through. Warfare happens anytime you're living for the Lord. So, you just have to get in there and fight for your mental health and for your breakthrough. So, that's what I've had to do. And I, every time I have looked at this yarn haul, I have just prayed that God will allow me to minister with it. Um, nine times out of ten, I don't, I don't knit or crochet things for myself. They're for other people. So, I'm, I know that I'll spend a lot of time in prayer because that's what I do when I knit. I pray or I'm spending time with my family watching a movie or, or Andy Griffith. Lately, that's what we've been watching together is Andy Griffith. But, um, one of those two things is what's going on when I'm knitting. So, I know I'll get to war with it. So, that is it for me today, you guys. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for listening to me blather on about everything and anything and off chasing rabbits and being everywhere today. Um, I do hope that you have a fantastic next couple of weeks and I bless you. We'll see you next time.